welcome back to my channel! I'm really happy to see you today and today will be a little bit, well, really different video. And I just wanted to share how one of my videos went kind of viral last year. And the reason why I'm doing this video because usually I'm not like doing all these blogging advice or vlogging, YouTube advice kind of videos just because I am not so good. <laughs> I'm like amateur still, I'm still learning. I'm... But then I noticed that many people found this quarantine, quarantine moment as a reason to start their YouTube channel and make videos and I thought maybe this can help you because I have also finally realized why this video went kind of viral because before it was like really bad maybe some got like 1000 views but not really more and then this one I didn't even notice until maybe some months later that I was like wait a minute it has like 5000 and then 10,000 and then 50,000 and then it had 30,000 views and the 30,000 views it got on February. Now it's on 32,000 views. This video I posted last year in June, like 6th of June. The video was about a Remington straightener, cruel and straight confident straightener and how to use it. One of the reasons why I'm making this video is if you work on your video, if you want to make something out of it, something out of your channel, out of your brand, then work hard each time when you do a new video, learn something new, do it the best possible because obviously I, this moment I was just not planning anything, just sit straight into the, in front of camera, just starting like blumbling and so on, that's why this video also was like 17 minutes long, but there wasn't even curling part, it was just straightening, which many people complain about. I will be like, I will be totally honest, like this was not my best video and that's why I didn't earn so much subscribers from this video, only 19 and it's not a lot. And I wasn't expecting that, you never expect when one video just YouTube will put straight in the first page, like you cannot expect it. I give the best kind of information you can from this video so people have reason to subscribe to you and they will be like, oh this girl really review good their stuff and I will subscribe for more reviews. And then I made second part for curling because I felt really bad and that, that video got... Okay, now it's almost 9,000 views. So I'm just really hoping that with this video I can help and motivate you and make you understand that you need to work really hard, learn really like a lot every time, learn something new every week, be consistent. Maybe this will help you in your YouTube channel and making your YouTube videos and understand how it a little bit works. Another thing. I started to watch my analytics only two months ago and then I understood how important they are and I always thought that my channel sucks. Well, it still does suck, <laughs> but when I see how my views have changed since the last year, like it was just all plain last year and now this year it's like really like upper, it's just comparing and it gave me the motivation and seeing that there is a difference and my videos do make difference and even if I don't get the best like subs, like subs or something there are more views because I'm consistent look at your analytics it's really important to follow your analytics not like I'm not saying every day but at least once a week see what's changing each video everything just play around with thumbnails with your editing style like search what people like more and what type of videos and another thing I also like I for a year I went all over everything I had fashion videos beauty videos then I started vlogging then I started like whatever videos but you find your niche okay this is not really in my niche but well, I'm kind of now more in like fashion slash a little bit beauty, but more like towards fashion right now because that's what I understood is really what makes me happy. Let's continue. So here are my analytics. Here you can see uh, this is June. In June I started to slowly every day, like get 100 views a day, 100 views a day, and then it started a little bit even more, like still like 100, but like more, 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 like thousands, 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 and then now it's like 32,400. Watch time is 
800 hours and as I said before I gained 19 subscribers which is not a lot then what's important to see as well well our audience retention is really important mine is love which is sad basically our audience retention is says how many minutes you can keep your audience's attention so it's really important these first minutes which now I'm working on because I know I can talk a lot and make like introduction really really long and you don't want to do that so I'm working on that now but that video was really long like it was really I was mumbling about everything anything real-time activity where you can just check how it is every moment or minute <laughs> I got like one two views even so I got, got in February like this 30,000 views since January it's like really slowed down it's not like so high anymore it's like really really like few views a day and then it's very important where the traffic sources where they come from where your audience find you and your videos so here I see YouTube search so that means that my keywords have worked really good it means that when they've put in for example Remington Str straight and curl confidence they probably found my video really fast and plus YouTube most likely as well put it higher external is from other anything probably even Instagram where you usually promote or Facebook or Pinterest Google maybe put it out as well like anywhere where people are finding these reviews and so on so I think what's going on as well why YouTube like kind of pulled my video out from any other videos where because this was kind of really trendy that moment because it was new straightener so people were searching information about the straightener keywords were repeating all the time because it was like straightener review Remington straightener Cur confidence review like all these keywords repeating not only in keyword section but also my description and also video because it it can see what you are talking about so it's like that video where you repeat all the time the same words so and I was as I was talking so much then probably I repeated a lot of this and here as you can see it was really in October and November it went really high maybe someone was searching for gifts or their gift impressions uh, 154 K okay. Total number of times your video thumbnail was shown to viewers since the video was published. So that means it did pull it up really good and fast. And here you can see really how the line was really high, like higher. And as I said, it's like October till December kind of, really like until the Christmas kind of. So probably people are searching as a gift, maybe unique viewers. Engagement, as I said, not as good, but uh, again, here it was better than later on. Average views per viewer, one view, and revenue. I'm not, I'm not gaining any money even my. So what I did not know that back then about keywords so much, how you need to incorporate in the description like the same keywords there is in title and like all these things, but it's kind of like. If you write vlog, for example, and there's like you, there can be like millions possible keywords, and you need to like search and think what could be the one. And then here it's like kind of as I said, it's like obvious ones: Remington Cross, Straight Confidence, Does It Work, uh, Iron, Straightening My Hair, Review, all these like I said, obvious. And again, in tags, I have like repeating Remington Cross, Straight Confidence, Review, Remington Styling Iron. Beginner guide in higher curling, how to curl your curl if you're beginning. To sum up all this, first, as I said, thumbnails are really important here. The thumbnail really sucks. <laughs> Not so much of me what I'm doing, but around this, like I it's different style back then. I use different editor, now I do it differently. Thumbnails are really important to catch the eye. Then for YouTube to recognize what it's about and to pull it up a little bit higher than other videos, keywords, tags, and also what you are saying in video also the same keywords and tags and next don't make your video too long don't mumble too much in the first video make like introductions like one two videos and then like cut on your point and talking what it's about plan your video 
I'm telling you, if you will plan your video, it, the planning will make a lot of time, like you'll do keyword search, do keyword search as well on YouTube, like just search what other thumbnails, keywords are used, and write plans down. It will take a lot of time, but when you film the video, it will make it so much easier. It will be so much faster, it will not be mumbling, you'll feel much more confident of what you're talking about, what you're saying, why you are saying that, what your purpose is. Like that all is so 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 important. I really hope this video I hope this video will go viral because these are the things I'm making video almost two years and I'm on th three hundred subs only. This is only because I was just doing my videos whatever. I thought that I'm putting so much work, I thought why my videos are not doing well. It was not like I still put in work, I still was editing and everything, but it was not with good like results. I hope uh, you liked it, I hope it will help on your YouTube channel, make your videos, your YouTube go viral and comment down below what more videos you would want me to make and do maybe about Pinterest because I'm also now like really into Pinterest kind of CEO and searching and, t and learning about that, so maybe that you would be interested in. Let me know in the comment down below if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps algorithms, the ones we talked before. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, because I want to reach those 400s at least this year. <laughs> so, see you next time, guys. Bye!